What's up guys, Michael here. In this video, we're taking a look at what's new in iOS 15 Maps. So iOS 15 brought probably one of the biggest changes or overhauls to Maps that we've seen in a while. And I'm probably gonna be switching to Apple Maps instead of Google Maps when I'm out on the road driving, uh, just cause it has gotten that much better. So uh, we'll first take a look here at what's uh, different in the UI and then I'll go over some of the other changes. So here on the left on my iPhone 12 mini is uh, iOS 15 and on the right is iOS 14. So first, the first notice I looked at was when I was looking at my neighborhood, uh, cause that's the first thing you do when you go into maps, is you look at your house. And the first thing I noticed is that the houses are more round on iOS 15. So they look a little bit more friendly and uh, I don't know if that's uh, just easier on the eyes, if that's the only reason they changed it, but buildings look a little bit different now. And the greens, they are a little bit more rich. And I also did notice that walking paths on the map have been made wider. So there's just a whole bunch more detail now in the map on iOS 15. And also buildings, they do have a slightly new color. So on iOS 14, you can see it doesn't stand out as much. This is just a drugstore. And on iOS 15, you can see it's more of a tan color and you can see the shading on the building. So a lot more detail and it does stand out a lot more on the map. Also a really cool change coming to iOS 15 is a globe view. So you can zoom all the way out and you can now see Earth as a globe as it actually is. The Earth is not flat. Newsflash. Uh, on iOS 14, uh, you could only zoom out, I believe, uh, as far as the continents go. So you couldn't really see the globe and you didn't really get that cool uh, space vibe. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I actually can see stars uh, right here on iOS 15. So that's pretty cool. So here, when we're over uh, North America, this is a, uh, a much better example of the greener greens I was talking about. You can see the terrain here on iOS 15, uh, just how much more detailed it is. And on iOS 14, it really doesn't show uh, any detail. So uh, I'm gonna show you next the extreme detailed city views, which are only coming to select cities. So if I search for San Francisco, I have a feeling it's gonna show up here, right there, San Francisco. Uh, first, you get some, uh, some little details here where it shows the population, the elevation, uh, the area, and the distance that it spans, which is pretty cool. But uh, San Francisco also supports the new extreme detail mode. So uh, if we zoom in here on one of the landmarks, uh, we can go into 3D mode by clicking 3D. And now we can see that is the Golden Gate Bridge and it looks very good. Uh, and all the detail uh, of iOS 15 really makes it pop, uh, especially the color, like the deep red on the bridge really looks awesome. If I go into dark mode here, you can see it also looks really good in dark mode and some of the uh, landmarks and things in the area of very select cities uh, will also reflect for night mode. So this may not be in your city. There's probably a huge chance it won't be. Uh, I believe it's only in Los Angeles, San Francisco and a few other cities, but Apple is expanding Apple Maps very quickly and they are going to be doing a whole bunch more mapping uh, through North America and worldwide this year, I heard. So uh, I'll have a link down below actually where you can check to see if Apple Maps is going to be mapping your location soon. Okay, so I got rid of the other phone. We don't need that anymore for comparisons. So iOS 15 Maps now has this new profile button. So you can see my little Memoji there. And if I click on it, you have a nice little interface here where you can see your favorite locations, guides, reports, ratings, and preferences. And also what is new in iOS 15 is a new view for reports. So you can add to Maps, add a street issue, add a place issue or a route issue. If I tap add to maps, apparently this uh, screen has been updated. I don't know because I don't uh, contribute to maps that much, but if you do, uh, this page has been completely overhauled and you'll have a better experience when you are contributing. So here's a really cool change that's also coming to Apple Maps, augmented reality. So I think Google Maps already has this, but uh, the example that Apple gave in their event is, for example, if you get off your bus or your train and you don't know where you are, all you have to do is open Apple Maps, point your camera around your area, and it'll show you where you are in AR with a big arrow and uh, directional info on the street uh, with AR right on your iPhone. So that is pretty cool. And for people that use it, there are some new transit features. So it'll tell you when to get off at the next stop, et cetera. And it also integrates with your Apple Watch too. Okay, so I'm editing the video right now and I just had to throw this in because I didn't mention it in the video, but uh, there's even more detail when you really zoom in. So Apple even mapped the different types of trees. They mapped the pedestrian crosswalks. And if I zoom out here, you can see they even mapped all the interchanges and the shadows that the interchanges create over the road. This is absolutely insane. Look at this more complex interchange here. When, when you're driving, 
and you really have to know what lane to be in, this is gonna be really helpful. I think Apple just killed Google Maps. And look at the uh, look at the detail in the different heights of the buildings and even the different colors to help you distinguish it. This is just awesome. Even that one little tree they had to map. Why? Why that one little tree? Because it matters. Details. I love it. Thank you, Apple. And finally, the last change, I saw it in the keynote, but it isn't in beta one right now. There is a new Apple Maps icon. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be coming, maybe in beta two or beta three. I guess we'll just have to wait for that. But uh, the new icon really does look nice. Uh, I love when Apple redesigns icons. Uh, this one really looks good. All right, so that's gonna do it for my uh, quick look at what's new in Apple Maps in iOS 15. Uh, just before I go, wow, look at that uh, detailed terrain here uh, in San Francisco. That's just crazy detail that you just don't get in iOS 14. So uh, yeah, when iOS 15 is available, I know you guys are going to love using Apple Maps. Uh, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.